horrifying things Japanese, Japanese YouTubers are out of control right now <laughs> What the hell is going on? Here's something I've learned about Japan. They love being five years late to the party. Take Dude, Japanese YouTubers are also incredibly funny in a way where like a lot of what a lot of what you know they do goes so completely against like Japanese culture. Like the entire principle behind just like being a YouTuber that is a nuisance in public is just like so inherently anti everything that like Japanese people like and fuck with. So like half of the pranks that they do is literally just like running around and yelling at the top of the hour. There's a three minute ad break. And it's just like people look at that and go, what are you talking about? We're already subscribed. The entire island is subscribed for $5 or for free. Okay, even with the conversion. And we even gift sub sometimes to no longer see those ads and let others no longer see ads at the top of the hour. That's what we do in Japan. That's what is that so crazy about everything. The passage of time is swift and cruel. <laughs> yeah, I hit that so smooth. Like, that was crazy. Um. No, I, I, it, all jokes aside, what I was talking about is, like, very real. Like, there is a, this phenomenon I, I it, encounter all the time. They just love, they love going nutty mode and, and yelling at, like, uh, like, the Shibuya train station or whatever. And it's, like, people don't even pay attention to what they're doing because they're just, like, this is awkward and cringe. Please Take stop. Take Tinder as an example. By the end of 2013, everyone was using it here. But Japan didn't really start swiping until 2018. The same thing happened with YouTube. Our first big YouTubers blew up in 2008 and 2009, but no Japanese YouTubers hit him. Bueller man, thank you for the 50 get the subs allowing 50 people in a long until the 2014. Top of the hour. YouTube. So if my theory is correct, Japanese YouTube is currently experiencing what we experienced in 2018. I'm Ethan Bradbury. How would your children react if there was a house fire? Get in! Get in the car, bro! Guys, coming back. Dude, this is this Japan analysis video seems awesome. I, I am not familiar with this channel, but uh, we should definitely pin it uh, and also go check out their other videos as well. Chatters. So far, so good. 49 seconds in and I'm already invested. Incredibly invested. Hey, this is Joey Salad here. Today, we're going to be doing the phone. Remember when this guy uh, went further and further reactionary? And would do like, uh, you know, Trump car in the hood gone wrong. And all of his, obviously, all of his pranks were fake from the jump. And then famously won. Ordinary things shat on you in his 2023 review. Wait, really? Show it to me. I want to see. I like ordinary uh, things as content. Um, he did a bunch of anti-trans stuff, didn't he? Yeah, I, uh, Joey Salas also went on the bang bus. He couldn't get it up. No, that was, uh, uh, Vlad or something. But anyway, Joey Salas also ran for, um, Joey Salas also ran for Congress, failed, and famously pissed in his own mouth. Something to consider. Destroying Frank. I hate you. <sighs> All right, let's see what they're up to. This is outdoors YouTuber Hadaruko, whose content is normally something like this. Just being lumped in with an offhanded remark about just how every idiot can talk about the news alongside other commentators. Yeah, um, I thought it was just like him making a joke about himself as well. I saw like a clip from his video. Where it was like every dumbass is, uh, every dumbass can like say whatever he wants about, um, whatever he wants online. And then he literally makes fun of himself in the next uh, moment. He makes fun of me and then makes fun of himself in the next yes. moment. Yes. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!
But for this video, he was just gonna chill, eat a pizza, and answer viewer questions in a completely safe part of the woods until. Oh, I'm assuming this is happening when like bear attacks are popping off in Japan too, right? Yeah, this like, I think what like 35 people have died in Japan uh, over the past year in bear attacks. Bear attacks are huge in Japan right now. They're popping. So what they did was actually deliberately try and go and find bears. Why do I know this about Japan? Because I follow like weird accounts of Americans that live in Japan that cover what's going on in Japan in English. Because I am an otaku. They decide to... Look, yeah, between April and November 2023, there were 212 victims of bear attacks, including six deaths. Akita Prefecture recorded the highest number of victims at 70. In November, 28 bear attacks occurred in 14 prefectures in Japan involving 30 victims. Bear attacks are popping off in Japan. To hide in the car, but all of a sudden, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, what? And then he says, I almost died. You'll have to come back tomorrow for part two. <laughs> Thank God they're safe inside the car, though. Imagine what would be. Bro, that's insane that they're, they're like deliberately trying to get the bear. You need to go to Japan and give the bears the drug that makes you dab people up. Agreed. I would dab up a Japanese bear. It's like two of my favorite things, dude. Japan and bears. I feel like the Japanese bears would be extra chill with me. They'd be like, dude, you are sick. Going through your mind after encountering a bear. <laughs> Yeah, now he cares. The bear is locked in on that delicious smelling pizza. Dude, I hate these. I hate this so much. The bear gobbles up their pizza and takes a souvenir when she leaves. They run the engine to scare away the bear and wait for a while, and then they go back to check on the Louis, I mean, the campsite. The pizza and wet wipes are gone, but it's not all bad news for our heroes. Seriously though, if I wish the bears destroyed that bag and pooped in it. If I encountered a bear, I'd be shitting my pants. These guys have some nerves, huh? And to catch it all on video, what a lucky event. Oh, sorry, let me skip past another subscribe screen. But yeah, it's lucky he was filming. I mean, that could have gone so much worse, but instead he got some amazing footage and look what it did to his channel. 12 million views in a month. That's more than triple any month he had before. Wow. Some people were skeptical though. There was one very weird coincidence. This forest they were filming in? There was a bear sighting in this exact spot 24 hours prior. There were four big warning signs up. Yeah, no, the he, the, I told you, this is why I, man, look at me, adding valuable feedback and commentary on a video, especially because the video is obviously about Japan. He 100% went there deliberately because he wanted to take advantage of the trends uh, in Japan about bear attacks. Are people in Japan not taught how to deal with bears? Seems like a lot of deaths for a place with a lot of bears. I don't think that... I don't... I don't know, actually, what the, what the difference is, but, like, there's probably plenty of fucking bear attacks in America, too. Up, ...which I guess he didn't notice. And that's not the only part of the story that people thought smelled a bit fishy. Bro, he went to a place where there's uh, where there were bear spot uh, where there were bears being spotted, and personally brought food deliberately into the middle of that space, knowing full well the bears are gonna go there. Gee.
But hold on, let's not jump to conclusions. It's not like he's the kind of YouTuber who will do anything to find a bear. Alright, fine. He likes bears and he wanted to see one. What's the big deal? Well, it turns out the city of Sapporo takes bear sightings very seriously. Japan has a big bear problem right now and it's only getting worse as hunters age and people move away from the countryside. Citizens who run into a bear are to call the emergency hotline immediately. The city puts up those big red warning signs within hours and logs the info on a special web page that tracks recent bear sighting. And this guy's like bear sighting website? Uh, more like new content sighting website for me. And fucking went there with food. But they probably never expected someone to use this. Bear for thousand in the United States is really low. In 2022, I think we have one black bear and two grizzly murders. That's kind of crazy. I, I am shocked. I wonder why the Japanese bear attacks are, are much higher. Maybe because it's like... Um, smaller area, higher population density. People go out into the woods to walk around and then... Like, like there isn't, there isn't exactly, they just said the hunter are aging out. Bear attacks in Japan are a record high. Climate change and an aging population are making the problem worse. When I saw them, I was so close. I thought I was in deep trouble. He survived the attack, but not without plenty. Dude. Dude, what if, dude, they send me to Japan, I'll sick me at them bears, dog. I will be, I will befriend them, okay? Put me in a situation with a bear, we're becoming homies for life. I am telling you, okay? Send me to Japan specifically to solve the bear issue. This kind of shit happened in America. Not only the government would not give enough of a shit to warm people, a deluge of yahoos with guns would rush over salivating and any chance to kill helpless animals and themselves. What is this? Brown bears in Japan are a lot more uh, different than... What are you talking about? You, you sent me a jibay for the top of the hour ad break. I already ran it. Pied Piker strategy. Exactly. Japanese bears don't encounter humans very much. So if they see us, they're not scared and we'll fuck people up. NA bears are pussies because we do so much shit to them that they learn not to fuck with us, which is why guns should be regulated. In America, it's because bears, it's human overpopulation. But in Japan, it's because country people don't have guns. Hassan, only Russians are born with a wild animal handling perk, specifically bears. It's not in your mind. I mean, yeah, I have a natural predisposition towards horses being Turkic, coming from the Asiatic uh, plains, the steppe, being a, being a steppe rider, you know what I mean? But I think it could translate the bears too. I don't know. Everything that had to go wrong for Grizzly Man to meet his demise? What the hell was Grizzly Man? Will not die. Oh, is this, is this M. Hud's, like, uncle or something? Who used to live with bears? No, M. Hud's uncle never died from bears because he's not a, he wasn't an L taker. This webpage to track down a bear and then attract it with something like hot food. And the worst part about this story is what happened to the bear. In case you didn't know, it's very bad to give bears human food. A single taste of human food is enough to turn a wild bear into a food-conditioned bear. Bears that obtain human food may become a threat to public safety. Oh, when yeah. that happens, the bear pays the ultimate. Bro, it's like, dude, but like, you can't even, this is yet another, uh, this is a, a form, this is a Matt Cushman theory, okay? The idea that bears are guys is a Matt Cushman theory, which I 100% align with, 100% agree with. It's the best theory that he's ever had. And it's like, yeah, dude, if you taste pizza, and before that, you're just eating whatever the fuck bears eat, you're just going to be like, no, dog, I want pizza forever, okay? Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to, for the rest of your life, do everything you can to eat pizza again? 
Straight up. Okay, but what if by giving the bears human food, they realize that they too become civilized enough that they could eat human food and integrate into society? Okay, now you're thinking. I do agree. I like this forward thinking. I'm back on I'm back on board with uh, giving bears human food specifically so that they will become chill with it. Okay. Uh, the Grizzly Man documentary is a Herzog dog. Dude literally thought he was besties with all the bears and would routinely go to Alaska to visit the bears he had befriended. Okay, bro, spoiler alert. You literally ruined it. He stayed in Alaska past the date allowed since bears get particularly vicious in the winter and got fucking mauled to death. Excuse me. You guys literally spoiled the movie. We were going to do Moby Night, and you ruined it. Messed up. It's not a spoiler. It's literally what the documentary is about. It's still a spoiler. Ultimate price. It is destroyed. But Hadaruko must not have known that, or else he wouldn't have... <laughs> oh. The city of Sapporo asked Hadaruko to take down his video, and he refused. Over the next couple months, the pizza-eating bear kept returning to human neighborhoods seeking food, until eventually, on July 8th, the city was forced to put her down. Yeah. So, essentially, Hataruko... Because if they don't do that, the bear's gonna kill someone. ...orphaned three bear cubs for YouTube views. That still wasn't enough for him to take down the video, though. There was only one thing that would make him take it down. Losing clout. Only once YouTubers and massive Twitter accounts started calling him out did he finally take down the video and release a statement. You know, it's just universal, honestly. It's just that, like, every, every person, including myself, that makes internet content is just a ginormous piece of shit. I fucking despise it so much. I despise this industry. And here it is. Classic YouTube apology, I assume. He basically spends the entire video denying that he did anything wrong. He says he had no idea about the bear sighting the day before and he did not intend to attract a bear. I did not. He says he did call 110 after the bear encounter, even though city officials say he didn't. And he says the city never told him to take the video down. He finishes by threatening legal action against people who defame him online. You could say the public's res- Yeah, except, unfortunately, uh, another- incredible Japanese L is that as far as I understand it, and we've talked about this before, you can sue anyone in Japan for defamation, even if they are saying something correct about you. Fun fact, everybody in Japan, you can get sued for defamation. Even if what you are saying is literally objectively the truth. Isn't that crazy? How insane is that? As in, if you are tarnishing someone's reputation, even if it is for good reason, you can still be sued successfully. No. No, that's the point of a defamation lawsuit. No. No. The difference there is that in Japan, it is not a legal defense. The truth, in America, we say, what's the truth? Uh, I mean, uh, what's the... What's the answer to a defamation case? The truth, okay? In Japan, however, the truth does not matter. Like, one of the standards of defamation cases is that, yes, as long as the information is truthful, then it's not def defamation. It needs to both be uh, not truthful information, and you also, in America, uh, need to be deliberately, uh, deliberately uh, pushing this narrative with... with you know, malicious intent, knowing full well that it's not actually truthful, okay? In Japan, it doesn't matter if it is truthful or not. Response to the statement was unsatisfied. All the comments basically say the same thing. Bro, this isn't an apology. You're just making excuses. And if that wasn't enough, he's now suing this other YouTuber who exposed him. But See? he's still uploading twice. There you go. The week. So this whole thing doesn't really seem to have affected him that much.
You know what I learned from all of this? Making a viral video in a Japanese forest never ends well. Remember last time someone tried to do that? The worst part, the whole time he was wearing this stupid f***ing hat. I feel like this was a stupid hat to wear. But you know what? And you won't believe this. There might be a worse video recorded in one of these hats. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jome, jome! This is Jukia, a massive Japanese YouTuber who does street interviews, but they're really, really creepy. Just the most, the, dude, 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 come on. Come, okay. To be fair, I feel like this is more cutting edge than American TikTokers because American TikTok YouTube interviews or American TikTok interviews on the street revolve around like, um, e <laughs> gay son or thought daughter, gay son or thought daughter. You have to choose one. Like in Japan, they're just straight up cutting through the fat and they're like, titties, look, tits. Tits, 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 boobs, 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 tits. Look at these tits. Zoom in on the tits. His titles and thumbnails are so explicit that I can't even redo them without getting in trouble on English YouTube. But Japanese YouTubers have different rules, I guess. Apparently his asking women to show me their underwear series wasn't crazy enough. So in June of this year, he made a video called Asking Girls with Boyfriends to Touch Their Butts Intense. <laughs> Oh God! Oh yeah, yeah. Is this is like this is hitting everything I fucking hate like at the same time. It's it's like frustrating. It's the shitty ass YouTuber uh, clickbait title. I hate that. Okay, paired up with like Japanese uh, uh, pervertry, Japanese perversion, which is like a league of its own. Okay. Paired up with YouTube prank videos, paired up with insane misogyny, and dare I say, sexual violence. It's like all of the worst fucking things you could put together, okay? For the record, you said mommy make out day or whatever, but like a lot of the stuff that people do in America, like the Joey Sows of the world, they're faking it. It's gross, but they're faking it at least. I don't think these guys are faking it. Oh, it's so cringe. Oh, but we got to get through it. Basically, they're going to try to find a woman with each cup size. What does that have to do with touching them? Well, this gentleman has a secret plan. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Damn, he's a Fantano fan. Remember when I said Japanese YouTube has different rules? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't watch this. It's so cringe. <laughs> oh, all right, well, at least that's over. Just kidding. There's more. <laughs> well, I mean, that is how you find the cup size. I mean, that's like, I think that that is correct, right? Isn't that how you look at cup size? You look at like... Like, you look at your chest size, like your ribcage size, and then you look at the tit size, right? Isn't that how it's done? That's not the point of contention here, uh, obviously. Like, <laughs> that's not the point. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know that's not the point. Um, it's This is still gross. I'm just saying, when he said, just kidding, there's more, I think it was because he was like, it's weird that he's being, like, so matter-of-fact, this guy. It's weird that he's, like, not just hitting the, the one time. He's like, no, actually, we need to find out, like, what your number is and your cup size is, like, which is odd. If you thought they'd embarrass her enough already, you're wrong. It's time to plug her measurements into an online calculator and accuse her of lying in front of millions of viewers. <laughs> but hold on. She wasn't lying. As far as I can tell, I mean, I don't know anything about this Before they can continue this madness, they gotta take a break to sign some autographs. Seriously, these guys are so famous. Which is crazy because we haven't even gotten to the worst, most oh. cringe part of the oh, video. No. You know, the part that was played on the news. 
So they're back to their antics, and this time oh they've got a young couple. They realize they gotta deal with the boyfriend first before they can whip out the tape measure. Luckily, Buddy here knows exactly what to do. <laughs> Seriously, if you see someone wearing a hat like this, call the cops. Sick, brilliant, dude. <laughs> dude, this guy, brilliant, dude. This is like the premise to Metal Gear Solid. Like, this is how you do it. This is this is how Solid Snake went past everybody. So sick. Jab plot? Excuse me. If you think this is a jab plot, listen, jab is weird. I don't like it. I think it's odd. I, it's just like the more the woman is not having fun, the more jab it is. But if you were to talk shit about the plot on jabs, you're wrong. The one thing that they spend like 800 hours on is like the weird ass fucking plot lines that they put together. I don't think that the, this is this is far too simple for a jab plot. Yeah, there's no you're wrong on that front. That's the only thing that I disagree with on jab. I I don't like it, but he's yelling, dude. She's so scared. It's like, yeah, bro. I wonder why. <laughs> This was the last time anyone ever saw this woman. Now, nah, after a while of uncomfortable hesitation, she finally answers. De. De. Jav is um, a Japanese adult video. <laughs> Every Jav is at least two hours long. Yeah, literally. It, it's like. It's, it's also the worst foreplay you've ever seen, too. Okay. It's like how I imagine. I had sex for the first time in my life. Like. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, I got, I got it. Okay. My timing is excellent, always, okay? Always excellent. Anyone who watches Jab is too horny is unwatchable. I agree. I agree. I know, like, you're not supposed to yuck people's yums, but, like, <laughs> Jav is a yuck, a big yuck for me. All right, let's keep going. Bro, shut up. They just keep making her say it. But at least the boys were having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> No, come on, stop. You know she doesn't want you to. Yes, stand your ground. But what do you think they did next? <laughs> Thankfully, they realized that two men cornering a woman and demanding to measure her body was a little too creepy, and they back off. But not before confirming some vital information. <laughs> This whole interaction blew up, and people were understandably quite upset. Jukia made a response, which... It's like... The thing is, the thing is, like, in Japan, you know, public... Um, like, being perverted in public like this is, like, pretty standard. But it goes against the other thing that is not standard in Japan, which is, like, disrupting the peace. So... I feel like the major problem here is not necessarily that he w they were being like 
rampant sexual assaulters, but more so that they were on camera and also doing it in a way, in a manner that like absolutely disrupts the piece, which is way worse than the sexual assault part. Japan is a land of contrast. Oh, one hundred percent. She ended up deleting. So I mean, you can imagine how that went. But honestly, they do stuff like this all the time. Just recently, this Jukia interaction made the news where he met these kids who were fans of his. <laughs> and then asked them if they had seen this famous TikToker's tape. They say no, of course, and he says, oh, you should check it out. What? Bro, what is wrong with no! you? So how are these guys even allowed on the platform, let alone monetized? And believe me, they're monetized. Well, I found a video of Jukia explaining this weird trick that he uses. <laughs> Obviously, they ask him how, given how crazy his content is, and he says he uploads the video with slight changes five or six times, and if that still doesn't work, he changes the title to Please Monetize Me, submits it for YouTube to review, and hopes he gets a nice employee. He says this works often. You know, as much as I dislike these fellas, maybe it is unfair to criticize Japanese YouTube as a whole what? for this when it's a phase that we also went through. But hopefully it is just that. A yeah, who, among, who amongst us hasn't gone through the, the rampant serial abuse uh, phase? Sancho started doing that? Yeah. I feel like it's much harder for me to find... a favorable YouTube uh, moderator. A phase, and they can get out of it soon. Something that helps is news organizations and celebrities calling out these influencers when they go too far. There are so many things I couldn't cover here, so I made a part two where I go over even crazier stuff and talk about other Japanese YouTube drama and how some of it even connects to Johnny Somali. It's free on my Patreon. Anyone can watch it. Link in the description. Legit, it's free for everyone. If you're one of the people who's been here since the start or if you support me on Patreon,